This has been a story about Amazon versus everybody else for such a long time. This earnings season has kind of played out that way. Take us through what your initial thoughts are about how healthy the U.S. consumer is and whether this is a world of haves and have-nots for retailers. Well, there's an enormous divide, as you can see, in these uh, quarterly results that are coming through. There are people that are doing very, very well. You mentioned Target, but also Walmart's doing well. You see the, some of the hardline retailers like Home Depot and AutoZone doing very well. And then you have those that are not doing well, and those are largely department stores and mall-based stores that are not doing well. A lot of them are talking about things like weather, they're talking about things like tariffs, but those really haven't kicked in yet. So those are, at this point, excuses and not reality. The reality is that strategies in some cases are working and in other cases are not working. The strategies that are working is all things digital. Every time, uh, so uh, in the case of a 42% increase with Target, it's click and pick. They're doing a great job. Now, they've, they've also put capital into 400 stores that they've remodeled. They've got 300 to go. That's driving it. Assortment's driving it. But click and pick is working in their case. Walmart, it's working in, you know, as they've uh, acquired Bonobos, Jet.com, and ModCloth, and others. So that strategy is working. So anything digital is working. It's where you're mall-based and you're, you're getting hit by the traffic declines from a mall standpoint. And also, they don't have the digital strategies. That's where these, these retailers are getting killed. All right, so, so Steve, does this just mean then that every single bricks and mortar, mall based, non big box retailer is doomed to failure? What exactly can they do to get their, not just their stocks, but just their business overall turned in the right direction so that they can perhaps compete and thrive in this kind of environment? Yeah, Dom, it's a great question because, you know, we keep talking about Amazon. Amazon's, you know, killing everybody. Amazon's winning, da 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 And they do have 50% share of all e-commerce. But we have to remember, Amazon only has 4% share of all retail. So the 96% of all retail is still done through these traditional bricks-and-mortar retailers. So there is a strategy difference that drives it. So cheap chic is working. That's Target. Target has got cheap chic. It's good quality. It's good fashion, but it's a value, at a value price. Everything value on the grocery side, the, the deep discounters are doing well. Walmart's doing well uh, in grocery. So discount value. On the high end, it's experiential, but you still you start to see uh, things like Rent the Runway and the rental business starting to take some of the high end. And so the high end retailers, you know, I'm talking really high end, are going to have to get into the rental business. There's no question about it, whether it's from fashion to jewelry to, to everything else. You've got to get into that. And then there's mall base. Now, that's structural. What are you going to do if you're in a mall? But it's all of the freestanding retailers that are doing well and the mall-based retailers that are getting hit on this thing. So you've got to continue to work your store base. Final thing is the large box retailers are all downsizing. They're downsizing in footprint from the number of locations but also the size of the box, realizing the convenience of shop, that online presence, that assortment through online uh, and, and, and then delivered through click and pick is the winning strategy.